Hello Ice and Fire nerds and welcome back to another Game of Thrones video. Well, this is not even a Game of Thrones video. This is more like a Game of Thrones prequel video. Apparently George R. R. Martin himself has confirmed a fifth spinoff is in the works. So what the hell are we going to see after Game of Thrones Season 8 in 2019? Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to Smokescreen and I want to drop this little Game of Thrones slash prequel news video. So apparently George R. R. Martin himself is working with Brian Cogman. Now Brian Cogman, if you don't know, is one of the executive producers on Game of Thrones. He's also written a few episodes himself. But him and George R. R. Martin are now working together to come up with a fifth prequel spinoff idea, which is basically them writing a script for a pilot episode, which may or may not come to fruition. But I have an idea, this one will. So a lot of the major publications are reporting on this now, the Insider Entertainment Weekly Etc. And an HBO representative has actually confirmed this with these major publications. Now, of course, earlier when we heard about the initial spinoffs, George R. R. Martin did confirm these all will be prequels, and two things were definitely off the table as far as what we were expecting. We will not see Robert's Rebellion, and we will not see anything as far as the Duncan Egg series. He did say Robert's Rebellion was off the table because by the time he finishes the main book series, if that ever happens, we will have heard everything we need to know about Robert's Rebellion, so I can understand that to a degree, although I would love to see a young Ned, a young Robert, and Rhaegar Targaryen for that matter at the Battle of the Trident, for example. I can kind of understand why they don't want to go that direction because we do know enough about it already. Now, it is important to point out here that apparently in any of these sequels that potentially may come out, and that may be two or three of those out of the five, we will not see any characters that we know of in the current storyline, although I would guess we will see characters that are related to the current characters that we do know. So, what is it going to be about? Some random stuff in Essos we have no idea about? Some random stories he hasn't written yet? Now, what gives us a little clue as to what this may be is when George R. R. Martin wrote on his blog, he wrote the following. Brian Cogman's series will be an adaptation and one that will thrill most fans of the books, I think, set during a very exciting period of Westerosi history. And I'll be working with him every step of the way we're going to be co-creating the show. So the key word that gives us a little clue as to what this may be is that he said Brian Cobman will be writing an adaptation, which means that it's something that's already written and it's going to be converted for TV just like the original Game of Thrones series. So what has Martin written? Well, hopefully he has most of the Winds of Winter finished, but of course we've already seen some of that material in the show itself. And of course we'll continue to see that as well as some ideas from A Dream of Spring going into season eight, the finale of the whole entire series. So we know that the Winds of Winter is not out yet. We know he may have not even started on A Dream of Spring, although he may carry over a lot of chapters from the Winds of Winter that he moves around, etc. So part of that book may actually be done already. But what he has written is The World of Ice and Fire, and he had a lot of extra material that never went into that book, and that is going to be published this year in what's known as Fire and Blood. And this is going to be a history of all the Targaryen kings. He basically said that when he was writing The World of Ice and Fire, that he had so much extra material about the Targaryen kings that he wanted to write a separate novella about the Targaryen dynasty from Aegon the Conqueror all the way through Ares II, Danny's father. And it's also important to note here that as far as him working with Brian Cogman from Game of Thrones, the current series, Brian Cogman is kind of known as the keeper of the lore, so to speak, at HBO. He's the one that kind of keeps everything in sync as far as the history goes and to keep the continuity straight on the TV show as far as pulling from all the various written histories from the books. So Martin will apparently publish later this year the first volume of Fire and Blood, and that is all the leftover material and probably a lot more added on from the world of Ice and Fire. So if I had to guess, I would say that the spinoff we're going to see in 2019 will be something related to Fire and Blood and the Targaryen dynasty itself, diving deep into the histories and various time periods of the Targaryen kings. And the cool thing is that would include some various stories that we do already know about, such as the Dance of Dragons. This was a Targaryen civil war that included all the dragon riders fighting against each other when the Targaryens had an issue with the line of succession. So that would include several stories that we heard about in the main series and bring them to HBO based off Fire and Blood would give us a long running series about various Targaryen kings, how they ruled differently, and the various events that happened during that whole entire Targaryen dynasty. My money is on fire and blood. So anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you guys want to see come on after Game of Thrones Season 8 ends? And would you be happy with a Targaryen dynasty type show, something related to fire and blood, which we know is already written? Because I do think that's the key word there. This will be an adaptation coming to TV just like the main series itself. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon smoke stream producers, Paul Scriffin, Ball Guy 10, La La Gig, Kisa Powell, Mark Joseph, aka The Snow and Winterfell, Marilyn Bentley, Joanna, Doc Holliday, Gaska, Hoonjive, Nikki Snow, Lo Horton, Aaron Hadbig, Ashley May, 
Dean B. Will, John Kerry, Anastasia, Jason Landers, Rhiannon, Ditt Smith, MJW, and Carol Brown. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. Be sure to subscribe to get everything, and be sure to click that damn notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.